Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new, welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is we bring about conversations about a variety of social, emotional, and uh, psychological related topics in a, in a variety of areas. Hopefully they are helpful to you. We've got over 500 available now. We always add to that um, several times per week. Hopefully there's a, you know... A uh, cool bit there for you. If you're looking for ways to improve your quality of life and emotional balance, please feel free to reach out at PO Perception on Twitter and or uh, in the um, About Me section of this here YouTube page. You can check out my website. It's there, and you can get in touch with me through there. So types of intuition. There are five types of intuition. Intuition is a gut knowledge, gut knowing it is. So what some people call the sixth sense. And so everybody has some degree of it. Some people have more than others. Some people are more willing to um, tap into it than others. Some people try to ignore it because it can be overwhelming, especially if you don't know how to cleanse from when you pick up on things from other people that aren't yours and you don't know what to do with that energy, that emotion, and all that comes with it. So finding a way. To balance all that is uh, often a challenge for a variety of reasons. Empath is the most common towards a kind of intuitive. These are individuals who pick up on the feelings and emotional state of the person they're dealing with. You'll walk into a room, you'll know if a person is sad, you'll know if a person is happy, you'll know kind of what the subcontext of the emotion they're not expressing is. You can tap in through the words they speak, you can tap in through... The, their body language, you can tap in through their facial expression, you can tap in through just kind of an inner knowing. There are cues that will give you a hint, but you also kind of follow your virtual memory, for lack of a better term, of the um, nature of the way in which other people have acted, and when it seems familiar to you, you kind of link things together. The next is the observant empath. So this is an em is an empath or an, an observative intuitive. So this is a person who will kind of like the analyzer. So I'll put these together. They will look at a situation. They will see patterns of behavior, patterns of thought, patterns of belief, and they will analyze and kind of go through the options for what may motivate a person to behave in the way they are. Once that is clear, as I get my phone here, they will be able to, in any event, that the analyze and observe is a, is a useful thing because we can look at the patterns and, and behaviors and almost anticipate a person's next behavior or their next emotional state, which can be really useful for people who are trying to avoid conflict. Also, for people that are, that are in things like, for example, conflict management or crisis intervention, this can be a useful tool. Um, it can be useful for if you have sensitive kids or a sensitive partner or a family member that's just, you know, uh, in an uncomfortable state, uh, that can be helpful as well. The next in this process um, uh, is the ability to what's known as the adaptive intuitive. So these are problem solvers. These are individuals who are looking at systemic processes and ways in which things go together for a more meaningful process in general. Uh, that can be really useful for a number of reasons. Process-based individuals are able to solve problems based on the way things have worked in the past, the things that haven't worked, putting together through, and then here's your, your other part of this, asking questions. So the questioning intuitive is the person who is able to catalytically through conversation have a conversation ask the proper questions ask the questions that are going to lead to discussion but also resolution within a person and then once a resolution exists uh there's um you know ultimately a, a more meaningful and longer term aspect to it so hopefully this is helpful i encourage you to keep your feet on the ground your mind in the moment until next time everybody